Hello guys and welcome to week 27 of my devlog for Finding Home, the zombie game I'm creating. Um, as usual, I open up the EXE of the weekly package to kind of show you guys what I've gotten the new package for this week. Um, last week I said this week was working on guns, so I did get the guns for the most part done. Just working on some images. Uh, I was late before again. When you when I do have all the maps, it's gonna be just able to select the maps from a drop down here. All right, let's get in. All right. So one of the big changes for this package, um, like visually wise, is I definitely got the grass in. I spent some money, uh, 10 bucks, I think, to, to buy new grass assets. Um, you can see them kind of blowing with the wind there. Stuff like that. I, I think they're a lot better. I think the other grass was just too bright. And um, I didn't want to spend forever trying to make my own grass and fool around with the colors and stuff. So I seen a package on sale because they're having a July sale right now. So I thought to pick it up. All right. Yeah. The guns are in. Got shotgun, uh, the Nomad, which is going to be a submachine gun. Uh, I will make the pickups, I think, so that they have the like basic butt stocks and uh, because they're all modular weapons, so these are kind of bare right now. But I think I'm going to make them so they have at least some attachments already on to start off with. But uh, yeah, you can hold them. Good. Uh, let's just throw the ammo in here. Hold that. Um. First person. Third person. Um, let's see. That away. Yep, so the weapons are working. Uh, of course, they quit my But yeah, and then I could get more enemies and stuff like that in there. Like I said, most of them are set to respawn on like a 90 second timer. Ugh, got me. Alright, that's what I got in the uh, game for this week. Going in engine. This is kind of what I got going on here, just kind of toss the weapons in. Um, what else was I going to show? Yeah, uh, still fixing up the, the melee weapons, so if I go to my... Uh, blueprints, items, my item list here. I did get all the melee weapons in, as well as the the guns, like I was saying. The reason I'm not 
really showing off the melee weapons. I still have to work with them to get them, like, the procedural or, like, how you're holding the weapons uh, properly. I can probably give an example. Let me see here. If I want to blueprints, world items, say axes, or say new folder, and I go shovel, or hammer, sure. Open it up, blueprints. Sledge Hammer Open this up uh, Go to item Master list Sledge hammer Viewport One, it's uh, standing straight up, so I'm going to have to fix that up. But I won't want it. So if I go to place this in the world, it should be standing straight up. Again, I could just, like, actually alter it in the world here and lay it down. But it's best that I just alter it in the blueprint so whenever I go to drop it, it's automatically laying down. See how the sludge hammer is like on my shoulder, and if I go to hit it, it's like I'm beating him with the the bottom of the stick. Um, that's because I have to fix the procedural for every melee weapon. If I go to Ground Zero Blueprints Player Weapons. Again, I was talking about this procedural aim offset that I have to change. That's pretty much how the character is actually holding the weapon right now. Um, and to make sure that it's all lined up properly and stuff like that. Uh, and so once I get that all done, I will demo the weapons off. But the, the guns are more easier because they're just kind of default. But even the guns right now... They're not perfect. I can sit there and edit around with the guns. I'm pretty sure if I pick up this gun here, it looks fine. But if I hit uh, first person, oh no, this one's pretty fine. Let's see. Uh, let's try the shotgun out. They might not all line up properly. Yeah, see the the shotgun's kind of clipping. I guess you would have the butt there, and you wouldn't be able to see through the shotgun. But there's just slight adjustments that have to be have to be done. Let's see my feet. Um, but the 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 actual range weapons just look like a lot better off the hop. Uh, I just had to also get some two-handed. Uh, animations to help me out. I could do the animations myself, but it'll just take a lot longer uh, just to get some good fluid animation. So I got a great sword animation, I guess, for the the mount, the, the sledgehammer. I'll add it around with that to make it look better. And then I got a katana animation, so I'll probably use that with the katana. And, um, yeah. But this week, uh, I've been pretty, pretty crazy busy, but yeah. 
it, it when you're doing a lot of background stuff like getting weapons in it, it sucks that I can't show off a lot of stuff um, oh there's one other thing I wanted to show off I did pick up I just I did put in and I'm trying to figure out again those rivers I'm trying to get those river systems saved uh, don't save um, so this is the river system I'm hoping to use. They have a couple of different, like this, they have the expensive version, and back there they have the non-expensive version. Oh. Let's see if I can move a little bit faster here. But the, this river system, you see how it's coming off the rocks here? You actually... I think I have to save it, but if I actually like save it and stuff, it actually it edits and takes a uh, takes into consideration the rocks and the uh, as you can see, there's like a little bend here in the landscape. It takes into consider consideration the bend in the landscape and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, in that uh, they have a big river, waterfalls. And this is what the the big river will look like. And uh, that's what I hope to be putting into this city or around the city. Lake Lake Water. These are the water assets I plan to use for And so this week I think I'm going to be fixing up the melee weapons hopefully to be able to show off some melee weapons and stuff like that and again I'm trying to work on this water and I've been trying to fix up the landscape a bit I'll fly over there like I was mentioning I wanted uh, the uh, like a river to come down from here and kinda like split in two off this like hill I think I'm gonna make uh, this a little bit more rocky just like the cliffs are here um, probably won't gonna use the snow probably gonna make it look a little bit more like this here and um, have it come this way and then I gotta smooth this all out I was just kinda flattening and then I have the water come down this way as well as through here and so this is like a little island kinda thing where the city is and it's gonna come out that way and then the other river I'm gonna have split through the city this way and around and like I said this is where the the lake was gonna be but I was just trying to find good water assets to to, to really work with and I think those are the water assets I'm gonna go with I think they look pretty good oh they're, they're not in game in, in the map yet so I won't know like the grass I thought it looked pretty good but then I got it into the map and it didn't it was way too bright for what I have and so that could end up being the water so I did get do have a couple of different packs but I think that pack will do good um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I could go over. No, I think that's that's really it. Just was working on the melee weapons, the um, ranged weapons. Um, like I said I picked up the grass with the sail that's going on, and I wanted to make sure I got it in there so there was some visual change compared to last time. Yeah, every week I'll be updating. Um, and if you guys have any comments or questions, just please let me know. And, uh, yeah. I, if I forget anything, again, just just remind me. I, I have a terrible memory. Um, yeah, you guys have a good one, and thanks so much for watching the video. Ciao.